Hey, Brona, welcome. I do love it when the BBC gets silenced. I do love it when their argument is ripped apart in one easy sentence. I do love it when they are embarrassed beyond belief. Here's another one. The core is one, and I can behold the tide. This was quite a while ago. You may know who this is. Why does the BBC insist that every single one in the whole world should have a right to come and live in our country? Nobody. Because on present trends, according to government figures, as discussed in the Times in September last year, the British people are going to be a minority in our own land. These are British people, in... Mr Griffin. These are I'm British people. Eth- no, no, they're not. They are British no. people. They have British passports. They have, they have British passports. So they're British that people. That doesn't make them part of they our country. They have equal rights. Let me put it another they way. Have they have equal rights, rights in this country. Yes, they have equal rights under the law. They have equal rights in this country. But just because they have British passports... Many born here. They are not, yes, and even if they're born here, then just as the British people li- living in India for generations under the Raj, five generations of white people were born in India during, in, under the Raj, and in 1948 they came home because no one maintained the fiction that those people were Indian. That would have been demeaning to them and demeaning to the Indians. It's exactly the same here. <laughs> you didn't like that, did they? Guarantee it. Now that was expertly done, and we can all say we do like to see the BBC belittled and shamed. And I think that did a very good job of it. Let me know what you think, though. I'd like to know your opinion. Stay sane. See you on the next one.